She may be weary. Young girls, they do get weary. Wearing that same old shaggy dress. Then you got Sam Cook, you know. I was born by the river in a little old town. Whoa, just like that river. You got Bobby Womack, you know. Do, do the things to keep a smile on her face. Do the things that make her feel better every day. You know, boy, you got to stay on your P's and your Q's. Cause the woman you love, you can easily lose. Oh, I had a love. That's Bobby Womack, you know. What's the central theme you think about all that blues music? What's the central, central theme to all those songs? What, what similarities do they share? Love, you know. Even though it's blues, it's love. Everything singing the blues good. because you're singing about what the woman did to you. Not my love for you. Not my love for you. What you did to the woman. That you're not doing. Like Bobby say, a woman got to have it. You know? Yeah, you know that woman got to have it. But you're not giving it to her. You ain't giving it to her like she wanted. it. singing the blues, but I don't have the blues. I have the blues when I'm off stage, because I'm in, I'm in reality, you know, so I'm in the blues, so that's when I feel the blues. Negative shit that's down here. Jerry, Jerry Douglas, here at the Red Lion, 
Um, just wanted to ask you what uh, what you're feeling tonight about uh, how your gig's going and uh, what you feel about about blues music in general and what makes you tick with blues music. What makes you love to play it? Good question. Um, well, uh, it's approximately 2.45 in the morning on a Sunday. And uh, I'm beat. I'm tired, as you can probably tell. My eyes are bloodshot. Luckily, I'm not drinking. I'm going to go in here with my band. And we might not play any blues, but we're going to play some music. And uh, hopefully people will dance. Red Lion. Okay, and what's your first name and last name? Um, Tree Light. Tree Light? Hey, Okay, tell us, a little, tell us a little about yourself. Hi, what's up? I, I, I love to dance, and I take traditional West African dance on the, on the uh, scene here in New York, and uh, the stuff I was doing tonight was very influenced by that. Okay, and now how does, how does this uh, style of music make you feel? Um, in, inspired, yeah. Well, inspired, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, see, there's cert I can dance to like lots of different genres of music. It's just a question of whether it has a good groove to it, you know. And and uh, I can adapt the traditional West African dances to uh, to uh, you know contemporary music, which I do all the time. And okay. I have certain dances that I do more with different styles of contemporary. Music. Do you think there's a difference between? Do you, do you think there's something, an influence that the musician you're listening to now has on you? What does it make you feel like? Um, I don't know if I could describe. But I just know that I can get down and dance to it. the blues? Um, pray, pr well, <laughs> uh, in terms of my, uh, my uh, troubled life, yeah, I'm sure I do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, blues is only one of many musics that I like to dance to. And, and uh, Jerry's band is more than just, just blues, it's like uh, a whole slice out of contemporary music. <laughs> Which, 
and you know the blues under underlays most of of American music. Let's face it. And once I get on stage, I feel better because I have the bass in my hand. I'll have the energy of my boys behind me. You know what I mean. Uh, Once I get on stage, I feel better. It sounds like I knew more about his bass than he did. Anyway, uh, so you want to know, okay, my name is Andy Ulau, and I play bass, probably most well known for playing acoustic bass. Audience reaction to my music making uh, varies greatly. Uh, generally, it's not something that I concern myself with. Uh, I just try to play good bass, and if the audience reacts favorably, favorably, it's probably because they were paying attention. <laughs> at all, it's probably because they weren't paying attention. Uh, you know, very often in a, a club such as this, the music is primarily for people's entertainment. <laughs> Sometimes you get people that are like really down and listening to what you're doing and sometimes you get people that are just coming in to hang out and have a few beers and have a good time amongst themselves. Either way, it's fine. I still try to play good bass and, and make good music. Well, music speaks to everyone, one way or another, and yes, of course I can communicate to people through my music. I suppose if I didn't, I wouldn't still be playing music, because I've been playing now for like 30 years, making a living playing music, so uh, certainly there's communication there, and, and people dig it. Uh, what exactly is communicated is, you know, open to interpretation you know each individual in fact I could probably you know if you walked out there let's say I play a solo and let's say the audience is all paying attention 
right? And everybody's like totally into my solo, right? And at the end of the solo, everybody gives me a huge round of applause and they're all really, really, really into it. If you walked around and asked each person what the solo meant to them or what emotional character they got in their bodies from the solo, they're probably, you know, if there's a hundred people in the house, you'd have a hundred different answers. So I can't really control that and that's actually, it's a good thing. That's what music is about, is about communicating on another level other than having to use language. Um, Eric wants me to say a few words for his documentary, which I'm, I'm very happy to because um, Eric is what, Eric Hayes, who I'm talking about, the man who's making this film, is what makes uh, this place really beat the kind of people um, that appreciate what we do. And I wish more Americans did appreciate what we do because it seems like a lot of our best clientele are from Europe. This music is...